in the face of a lion, see a lion coming at you and you're standing there all peaceful. But the last part of that is the declaration that I want everybody to seal in their minds, in their heart, in their spirit, and in their prayer closet. I will never stop praying. Don't let the prayerlessness around you affect your prayer life. Just because you look around and you see a prayerless environment or a prayerless society, that doesn't mean you quit doing what it is God has told you to do, which is to get on both knees and lift your voice to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords and bring the petition that He has put in your heart with the expectation that He will handle that which He has said will be handled. I don't stop praying because I don't see what it is I want. I don't stop praying because what I have petitioned hasn't taken place yet. I keep praying and praying and praying and praying and when everybody stops, I keep praying and praying and praying till heaven touches earth and that which is in heaven is loose in heaven will be loose here on earth and until what God has spoken to me takes place here on this earth, we as the people of God will keep on praying. Shout for 15 seconds if your prayer life has just become your new weapon in this season. People are arguing, I'm praying. People are fighting, I'm fighting differently. I'm praying. People have quit. I'm praying. I'm gonna pray until what I see that heaven has shown me happens right here, right now, in the time God has allotted for it to take place. Oh, shout like you know what prayer can do for you. the type of person that can stand eyeball to eyeball with a lion and be at peace, they got a prayer life. They've been prayed up the whole time. If that lion had shown up before the prayer life, maybe there would be a different outcome, but that lion showed up a little too late. You and God had a conversation before that lion showed up. You and God have had an established track record before that lion shows up. There has been intercession, not only that you have prayed, but that somebody you know prayerfully, your prayer partner, who has covered you for that moment. So for somebody, ooh, glory be to God. When I say years, mm, mm, ooh, this is not my lane, but here we go. Somebody has been praying a very specific prayer for nine years. Nine. I don't know why that number is nine years. If it's you, global family, put your hand up. You have been praying that very specific God-given prayer for nine years. And you came today because today was the day you were about to stop praying. Family, let me tell you, do not stop praying praying it shall come to pass global family it shall come to pass Whew. father i thank you that in this moment you have equipped your children to remember once again what our greatest weapon is it is our line of communication to you. It is not by power, it is not by might, but it is by your spirit. And it is your spirit that stirs up the utterance, that stirs up the prayer, that opens up the line of communication to speak to you and to hear from you, to receive instruction. 
and to know what to do and what not to do, when to do it and when not to. We thank you for the gift that you have given us. That is prayer. An open line to your ears and open ears for us to your lips. So we declare in this moment we shall not cease speaking to the Father about creation and receiving word about creation as well. Father, we praise you and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm.